If you've recently rolled or twisted your ankle or it's just sore, here's a series of exercises that are gonna help strengthen it, help it feel better, and make sure that you're ready to play soon. We're gonna start off with passive ankle cars, so you can relax your one leg. You can do this seated on a bench, a couch, whatever works, and you're gonna grip your foot with one hand, grip your shin or above your ankle with the other hand to, so it doesn't move, and you're gonna pull in a big circle. You don't want this to be painful. If it's a little achy or there's some tension, that's totally cool. Uh, and if you've recently rolled it, that's kind of normal. You just don't want it to be anything severe or to get worse as you're doing it. So these exercises you can do with shoes or without. Some of these I like more actually with shoes, which is rare for me, I love barefoot stuff. But this helps me grip my foot a little better if I have a shoe. It helps me pull it around with a little bit more tension. So I'm doing several reps each direction. And then after that, I'm going to do active ankle cars, which I can do from this position, or I can do it from here, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna want you to then do several reps of active ankle cars, drawing a big circle in as big a pain-free range as you possibly can. And you wanna really focus on feeling the muscles around your ankle and in your lower leg working to pull that ankle in all directions, several reps each way. We're gonna follow it up with some banded work. So I recommend a nice thick band and shoes here as well because you're gonna get a little bit more friction here. You'll be able to pull a little bit harder. It works barefoot, that's totally fine, but I like it with shoes and a nice heavy band. So what we're gonna do here is go into eversion and inversion of your ankle. And I like to even shimmy this band down a little lower. So I'm not just twisting the foot, but I'm getting the ankle moving too. So boom, here I'm gonna pull and pull. And I'm trying to keep my ankle mostly relaxed. Just like with the other stuff we were doing, we don't wanna go into any sharp pain. We don't want it to be any worse, but a little bit of achiness is okay. Especially if you have to play soon. You wanna make sure that you're moving in and out of these ranges of motion. So I'm getting some passive stretching here. After I do this for 30, 60 seconds, you can feel it out. Then I'm gonna start pushing against resistance more active. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull with my right arm, boom, into inversion this is called. I'm gonna hold this tension here and I'm gonna actively rotate my ankle away like that. So I'm working all these tissues on the outside of my ankle. Woo! I can create a ton of tension here. This is where it helps to have the shoes because that band isn't gonna slip as much and you may not get the discomfort from, on your skin uh, from so much tension. All right, so I'm actively contracting and then stretching those tissues that most often uh, get rolled or strained uh, if, you, if you roll your ankle. Boom, then I'm gonna do the other direction. So I'm gonna pull into eversion, rotate outward, and I'm gonna rotate and rotate. So now I'm really contracting the muscles and the tissues on the inside of my foot and ankle in here, okay, to pull away. I got reversed there. So I'm holding that tension here, boom. So I like to do anywhere from five to 10 reps here. I want to develop a little bit of fatigue. I wanna make those muscles work. This is strength training. So just like if you're lifting, if you're doing something and it's not really creating any type of fatigue or challenge at all, it's not gonna create much of an adaptation. So once I'm done with the band, I like to go back to more ankle cars to really reinforce some of that rotation. And if you can, it feels okay, I love to add some weight to it, all right? So boom, I'm adding a little bit of resistance just like that. Again, we don't wanna push into any painful positions, but the reality is, if you do want to play, you're planning on playing soon, there's gonna be way bigger forces acting on your ankle, uh, so we need to get it used to that and able to move through these big ranges. You can do several reps each direction. So this is also a good assessment. If this is not feeling good and you're really not able to do it, then it's probably not a great idea to be playing, just FYI. Boom, there we go. Next up, I like to work some standing rotation. Okay, so I'm leaning in, getting into this inversion, 
inversion, you can rock side to side or you can focus a little bit more on one foot. If you have one foot forward into it, that allows you to take a little bit of weight off of it in case you're not certain or it doesn't feel great. But if it feels okay, you can put a lot of weight into this and get your body used to this. And I recommend doing this when your ankles are feeling pretty good as well, so you really get them acclimated to resisting a lot of force here. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you're coming off of an injury, uh, but this is somewhere you can go down the road. And then at this stage, if this feels okay, I want to do a passive range hold. So I'm going to lean into as much range as I can, and having shoes actually can make this easier because you have a little more leverage to get into this stretch. Lean in as much as possible, lift off, and try to hold that angle of my ankle for a few seconds. Okay, and that's going to use all of these tissues, make them contract and hold. And you might even get a little bit of a cramp. So I'm leaning in, lift off. Leaning in, lift off. Okay, so I'll do a few reps of those. I'll usually add some in for the other non-injured ankle as well. Final two things, dorsiflexion. We're going to rock into dorsiflexion, rock the knee forward, get a nice stretch, and then peel using all of these muscles here. So this is a passive range hold for dorsiflexion. This part, just kind of an active stretch, but then here, we're contracting all of this, peeling, 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 trying to hold this angle as acute as possible, working the shin, working the front of the ankle. So you might notice here the trend, we're trying to work all angles of the ankle, getting all the tissues around it in 360 degrees working, producing force. All right, so I usually like to do three to six reps here, depending on how you're feeling at this stage. And then we can do plantar flexion passive range hold. So you can do both legs here or just one. So what I'll do, point my toe, lean back. This is plantar flexion, okay, with the toe pointed. Then I'm going to try to actively point it now and work my calf and hold and appeal and hold that point. Ooh, you might cramp up here too. So you're getting a stretch on the front, then you're making the tissues on the back side work. And sometimes, depending on the, the roll or the sprain, you can get pain back in here. So we want to activate this stuff, point, this is all working, to peel. So our goal is we passively go into this stretch, try to hold it as much as possible as we lean away just like that. So I recommend going through this series, at least doing the exercises you can with very little pain on a daily basis right after injuring your ankle. So if it's not severe, start with the cars. You can start with passive ones, go to active. All right, think about the hierarchy being start with passive, encourage as much movement as you can. As things start to feel better, you can get more intense and more active with it and more load bearing with some of the movements.